in the Dallas Mavericks 132 to 96 victory over the Sacramento Kings. The Kings were held to shooting 38.9% from the floor. De'Aaron Fox was held to 18 points, three assists. Demonis Sabonis was contained at 12 points. And I'm going to break down how the Kings were kept in check in the half court as well as the Mavericks transition defense. And let's get right into it. One of the key focuses the Mavericks had was to maintain drop coverage for much of this game. Daniel Gafford, as the starting center, was often you know, assigned with that role early on. And the Kings are going to play out of a handoff with Demonis Sabonis. He's going to be playing at the top of the key. And then they're going to set a veer screen for Keegan Murray to come off of. Luka Doncic is going to try to chase instead of switching. And now Gafford is protecting the rim. Murray's going to get into an elbow jumper and knock down the shot. The Kings were focused on creating mismatch opportunities for Sabonis. He's going to hand it off to Harrison Barnes, who's going to drive downhill going to his left and draw a veer switch with Daniel Gafford accepting the switch. And then now Harrison Barnes is going to pass out to De'Aaron Fox, and the Kings are going to get back the ball to Sabonis with a mismatch against Derrick Jones Jr. out in the paint. Sabonis is going to play through contact, draw a double team, and then pass to the open teammate Keon Ellis on the weak side wing, who makes the Mavs pay. The Kings continue to play out of a lot of handoffs with Sabonis. He's going to get the ball against P.J. Washington, who's cross-matched onto him instead of Gafford taking on that assignment this time. And Washington is going to handle this handoff with Keon Ellis playing drop coverage, much like Gafford did earlier, and they're just going to give this jumper up. This is a shot they want to live with instead of allowing a rim attack. Daniel Gafford's going to hold his own in transition, stopping the ball against Harrison Barnes. Barnes is going to try to shift him with his handle out in space. And once he gets engaged on the three-point line, Barnes tries to use an in-and-out dribble, try to create that advantage going to his right. But he's not going to have a lane to attack deep on the drive. He's going to try to change directions with the between-the-legs dribble and now attack the other side of the paint, get into a scoop finish. But Gafford does a great job of pressuring at the rim, and Barnes is unable to finish it. Derek Jones Jr. did an effective job of containing dribble penetration initially. Bites on multiple fakes deep on the drive with Fox playing off two. Gafford cleans up the situation by blocking Fox's finish attempt. But Fox gets the offensive rebound, passes it out to Sabonis, who uses a shot fake to get Jones to fly by him, attacks downhill and draws Gafford in help, and then tries to get the ball out to the perimeter and draws a foul in the process. The Kings are going to feature De'Aaron Fox in a zoom action handoff on this possession. After Fox receives the handoff, Exum is undering, so the Kings are going to rescreen. And now Daniel Gafford is going to maintain drop coverage once again. And as Fox is coming off to his right, he makes a quick pocket pass with Exum trailing the play. And Sabonis is going to get an open jumper at the nail area and makes defense pay. The Kings continue to create mismatches for Sabonis early. Kyrie Irving is going to top lock Keon Ellis in a wide action, so the Kings are going to now get into their second option. Ellis is just going to reject the screen, cut through. The Mavericks switch this, which results in Keegan Murray immediately coming to set a ball screen for Sabonis, creating another switch with Irving now guarding Damana Sabonis in the middle of the floor. And with a big being guarded by a small guard, he's going to get into the paint to try to finish at the rim, and Sabonis gets fouled by Irving on a play on the ball. The Kings are going to quickly get into a second side action with Damana Sabonis getting into a handoff with Harrison Barnes targeting Luka Doncic, who isn't quite ready to guard this action as it gets into the flow of it. The handoff comes. Luka's now trailing the play, and with Daniel Gafford in drop coverage, the pocket pass is wide open for Harrison Barnes to get it to Sabonis, and now he has momentum getting to the left side of the rim as a left-handed player, buries Daniel Gafford under the rim, and finishes as P.J. Washington tries to make a last-second help rotation but is unable to impact the finish. Dante Exum tried full-court pressuring De'Aaron Fox at numerous points of this game, and on this possession, the Kings are able to create advantage out of it. He gets into the paint, draws help from Derek Lively. This leaves Demona Sabonis open along the baseline, who just misses the catch-and-shoot jumper. With De'Aaron Fox getting the ball early in the possession and being guarded by Luka Doncic, he's going to get aggressive, looking to attack downhill. Demona Sabonis is going to fill the weak side dunker spot, and as this happens, Derek Lively overloads the strong side instead of staying attached to Sabonis. And while Sabonis flashes to make himself available as a relief option, Fox is going to reverse the ball to the weak side wing. On the catch, Keegan Murray is going to hesitate. He had the one more pass wide open. If you want to make a quicker decision there, 
he could have had an open shot for Harrison Barnes in the corner. This gives Derek Lively an opportunity to recover and make the contest, and Barnes misses the shot. With Keon Ellis being picked up by Luka Doncic to start this possession, he's going to end up looking like he's going to get into a ball screen with Luka icing the screen and just rejected attack baseline. Derek Lively is going to try to get vertical, pressure the floater attempt, but with a friendly bounce, the floater goes in. On this possession, Demonis Sabonis is going to play at a delay, and he's going to get into a zoom action handoff on the second side with De'Aaron Fox as the pin down screener and Keon Ellis is going to come up for the handoff, and as this happens, Sabonis thinks he's caught Luka Doncic ball watching and out of position, and he's going to try to get the ball to the corner spacer, but Luka makes a great read, recovers, and jumps the passing lane for the steal. The Kings are going to play out of a delay zoom action, with the focus of the action being Keegan Murray. After the wide pin down, P.J. Washington is going to be trailing Murray before he comes off this handoff, with Murray coming off the handoff wide. There's going to be a lot of pressure on Derek Lively, the big defender, to step up and contest a potential pull-up. He decides to leave his feet and force a flyby with Murray drawing help from Washington after the recovery. Sabonis is open on the perimeter, and now it's up to Lively to get out, make a contest, and Sabonis misses the three. After Davion Mitchell drops Dante Exum with a behind-the-back dribble after the initial drive attempt, Mitchell's going to toss it to Demona Sabonis, who's going to get into a quick handoff in a step-up screen, forced Tim Hardaway Jr. to trail on the drive as Malik Monk attacks downhill. Monk lowers his shoulder, initiates contact, and creates separation to get into the deep drive left-hand floater, and he gets it to go with Lively not pressuring him. Now Lively knows that he's going to have to pressure a floater attempt from Monk out of this zoom action. He gets downhill going to his right. Lively contests it and forces a miss. Sabonis so initiates his possession and immediately attacks Derek Lively downhill. Plays with a fake finish attempt, makes an inside move, gets Lively to leave his feet and draws a foul. This is something that Lively is going to adjust later in the game and a detail to pay attention to. After a transition push, the Montes Sabonis is going to get the ball inside the perimeter. Looks like he's going to get into a handoff out of the corner with Keegan Murray, but he's going to keep it. Attack baseline, play off of two, try to get Derek Lively to bite on a fake, but Lively does a great job of staying grounded just staying vertical with the contest never fouls but Luka Doncic is ball watching on the weak side and Sabonis takes advantage kicking the ball out to a teammate for a catch and shoot jumper that makes the Mavs defense pay this possession is a great example of the pressure the Kings place on a defense in the half court with multiple handoffs and options out of them Davion Mitchell is going to hand it off to Malik Monk who's going to toss it to Sabonis Sabonis is going to keep it on the initial handoff. Derek Jones Jr. is going to deny the pass on the cut through, and Monk's going to come back for a handoff around the nail, get into a pull up jumper mid range. But Jones had his teammates helping and ready to contest, helping affect the shot, resulting in a miss. Keegan Murray is going to get the ball to Demonis Sabonis and get it back out of a handoff, and then he's going to drive left and then draw lively on a veer switch, and he's going to retreat back out get a fresh possession by getting into another get action with Demonis Sabonis, and then he's going to try to use a shot fake on the catch, try to get Derek Lively to leave his feet to create an advantage for the drive at the point of attack. He's going to get downhill, play it of a stride stop, and then make an inside move into a floater. A tough shot. Derek Lively never you know, bit on a fake and had great positioning, but this is just a great offensive play by a talented player. On this possession, De'Aaron Fox is going to run a ball screen with Alex Lynn, who's going to slip it and Derek Lively is playing up to touch. He's going to show on the screen and then recover back to the paint. Derek Jones is going to fight over the screen, and he's going to stay attached to Fox, get in position to guard him after Lively makes that recovery. And now Lively, despite Lynn moving around in the paint, is going to show help overload the strong side as Jones is trying to contain dribble penetration and now there's enough overall resistance in the paint for Fox to have to play off two, get to a floater and miss. Derek Lively continued to do an impressive job of anchoring the paint but with multiple bigs on the court they had the necessary size when handling drives to be able to break up potential putback opportunities for the Kings and then have the length to secure rebounds. Malik Monk is going to try to get by Maxi Kleba, get into the paint put up a floater with Lively pressuring getting vertical and then Alex Lund's going to try to get a putback but both bigs are able to pressure the putback attempt and come up with the rebound. Instead of playing out of a deep drop the Mavericks had Derek Lively play up to level with Alex Lynn being the dribble handoff big. They get into a series of handoffs ultimately resulting in Malik Monk 
attacking left with Derek Lively rounding off the drive. Kyrie Irving's going to show strong side help, and this is up to Maxi Kleba to rotate, account for Alex Lynn on that pocket pass, and Lively rotates over and help to provide another rim protection presence. And now it's going to be up to Malik Monk to attack off the catch. And then with multiple bigs in the paint already, he's going to just turn around spray it out to De'Aaron Fox. The Mavs are a little late to get out on the shot attempt with Kleba making the run out and Fox knocks down the shot. After the offensive rebound, Kyrie Irving guards De'Aaron Fox in isolation. He's going to try to break him down attacking left. Play it of a couple back down dribbles and then make an inside move with the spin. Get into a floater but Irving rearview contests and Fox misses. The Kings are going to play out of the two-man game once again with Sabonis and Fox. Fox is going to look like he's going to come off a handoff going left, but then the Kings are going to actually have him come off right with the rejection, and Derek Jones Jr. goes under that initial handoff, spins back to account for Fox, and now it's an isolation possession where Fox is breaking down Jones. He's going to attack left. Jones is going to slide, cut him off, and then get vertical with the contest. With Fox taking a tough short-range pull-up, he's falling away, and the shot's a miss. The Kings are going to get creative with their approach here. They're going to play out of double drag screens for Malik Monk. And the Mavericks are going to show and recover. Lively is going to get back to the paint. And as this happens, the Kings are getting into an additional action on the second side with double wide pin down. With Harrison Barnes coming off the screen. And then he's going to cut through, fill the weak side. And then Fox is going to receive a pin down from Alex Lynn. And he's going to receive the ball and get into the middle of the floor with Lively engaging him. And as this happens, there is an additional action on the weak side where they're setting a corner pin in screen. Kyrie Irving is going to try to jump the pass and be out of position to contest the corner three. And the Mavericks are made to pay as the shot goes down. De'Aaron Fox receives a ball screen before crossing midcourt. And Derek Lively is inside the three-point line. He's focused on protecting the paint. Fox is going to try to spray this out. And there's a miscommunication with Keon Ellis, and it's a turnover. This is a great example of the value of having a rim protector at all times on the floor. Derek Jones Jr. gets shifted out in space by Malik Monk, but Derek Lively is in the paint available to meet Monk at the rim, forcing the miss. The Kings are going to ultimately get into a zoom action where Alex Lynn is going to hand this off to De'Aaron Fox, and P.J. Washington is way out of position after Fox gets downhill with the handoff, and Daniel Gafford is focused on staying home on the big, and this results in an easy floater for Fox deep on the drive. For whatever reason, the Mavericks blitz Malik Monk out of this zoom action with no weak side presence and P.J. Washington staying home on Deer and Fox in the strong side corner. This is a wide open dunk for Alex Lynn on the catch. P.J. Washington unders this handoff against Deer and Fox. This is going to result in having to guard him on an iso. And after a behind the back dribble mid drive, Fox looks like he's going to take a short range pull up, passes out of the shot as Luka Doncic sinks into the paint and is out of position to be able to recover on the closeout and Harrison Barnes bails out the Mavericks defense by missing the open shot. With two off-ball screens, Monk's going to curl off into a handoff from Demonis Sabonis and Daniel Gafford is going to show two with one and force Monk to make a live dribble spray out pass as Kyrie Irving tags the roller and now this is going to cause the Mavs to have to handle an X out. Doncic gets out to Keon Ellis and now Irving has to cover a lot of ground to the weak side corner and the shot is a clean look and the Kings make the Mavs pay. Malik Monk is going to receive a screen from Demonis Sabonis but he slips it and gets into the paint and then he's going to come back up to screen, slips this one as well and is available for a pocket pass after Monk draws two, gets into a quick push shot and misses short. The Kings are going to end up running a Miami action for Harrison Barnes where a handoff followed by a ball screen occurs and the Mavericks switch the ball screen. Daniel Gafford's now on Barnes so Barnes quickly gets the ball to Keon Ellis who's guarded by Luka Doncic. Ellis directs Davion Mitchell to cut from the strong side corner to the weak side and the goal is to get a post touch for Demonis Sabonis against a mismatch with P.J. Washington guarding him but Ellis takes advantage of a fake pass with Doncic committing to jump the pass to try to drive, draw help, kick the ball out, and an open shot comes for Barnes, who just misses the attempt. This possession begins with Sabonis getting a post touch. It looks like they're going to get into a zoom action. Keon Ellis slips the screen, but Harrison Barnes gets a handoff. P.J. Washington unders. Barnes shot fakes, gets it back to Sabonis, who's going to 
get into another zoom action with Malik Monk attacking left, and Gafford's going to hold positioning long enough for Derek Jones to recover, but Monk's going to wait for Jones to make that recovery and then change directions and attack the right side of the rim, and Sabonis is going to set a Gortat screen to seal the defender in the paint, allowing Monk to finish with the scoop finish, but Jones pressures and forces the miss. The Kings are going to attack Luka Doncic out of the corner early in this play. Gafford's ready to help, and the ball finds Sabonis, and he gets into a quick push shot. Gafford contests, and Sabonis misses. The Kings run a zoom action handoff with Keon Ellis setting the pin down screen for Malik Monk to come off of, and the Mavericks load the paint, so Monk's going to just pass out of this to Ellis on the weak side. Doncic, who is responsible for tagging the roller, is going to close short on Ellis, and Ellis doesn't make him pay by missing the catch-and-shoot jumper. The Kings are playing out of an extra high horn set with Sabonis going to screen for Fox to come off of a drive right, and Lively is going to be playing in drop coverage to account for the drive, so Fox is going to get into a step back, stay behind the three-point line, and knock down the shot over Lively's contest. Sabonis is going to be picked up by Luka Doncic in transition, and they're going to flow right into a handoff with De'Aaron Fox, and Doncic is going to signal to Derek Lively to pre-switch this possession. So Luka is going to be responsible for the dunker spot. And now Lively is going to step in as the big defender in the action. This was executed late with Derek Lively already being off balance in the restricted area as Fox is attacking downhill. This allows him to get into the gap and get into an easy rhythm left hand floater that he makes. The Kings are going to force a switch playing out of a horn set and a ball screen where the Mavericks veer switch. Now Fox on a reset is going to shot fake, get Lively to leave his feet, and now he has the advantage, plays to that initial contact, and is able to get into the restricted area, play off one. He's fading away on the floater attempt. Lively is not in a position to really pressure and gets the floater to go. This was one of the successful full court pressures by Exum against De'Aaron Fox. He's going to get frustrated by the aggressive defense, lower his shoulder deep on the drive, and then get called for the charge. This time Keegan Murray is the focus of a zoom action, and Derek Lively is going to take a step back as Murray is going to curl off of the handoff, and this results in him being late to be able to really pressure the pull-up three-point attempt, and Murray makes him pay with the make. Harrison Barnes is going to hand it off to De'Aaron Fox, flip the screen with Luka Doncic as a big defender, and Doncic provides no resistance. Fox gets deep on the drive, plays off two, and makes a short-range pull-up. The Kings run a zoom action for De'Aaron Fox, and Lively does a great job of guarding this. He's already playing up, and he's going to switch, and now he's going to round off the drive. Fox tries to get to his left hand for the scoop finish, and Lively's already pressuring it, and this is a miss. De'Aaron Fox is going to hunt Luka Doncic by getting the ball to Harrison Barnes to get into a handoff, gets a re-screen, and now Doncic veer switches onto Fox as the big defender of that action, and now Fox is going to retreat dribble, bring him out to the three-point line, and then work his way to the middle of the floor, bring Harrison Barnes up to get the ball back, to be able to have the ball by the center court logo, get a running start, play out of the left to right crossover against Doncic, get into the paint, and he's going to draw Derek Lively in help out of the dunker spot. But the Mavericks did a great job of helping the helper, Kyrie Irving, who is responsible for the weak side as the low defender, is going to get a hand on the drop-off pass, resulting in a turnover. The Mavericks will need to clean up how they're handling X-outs. De'Aaron Fox is going to get a high ball screen, play out of a push crossover to get into the live dribble pass with his left hand, since he's a left-hand dominant player after reading Luka Doncic pre-rotating as an early low man. And with Keon Ellis spaced in the corner, the Mavericks feel good about leaving him open to dare him to shoot. But Ellis is going to blow by the X out with Exum trying to get out on him. Attack baseline. He's going to draw Derek Lively in help, then drop it off to Sabonis, who's going to use a series of fakes to get the Mavericks defenders out of position and then get the easy finish attempt. Dana Gaffer made a great defensive play on this one. Sabonis gets the ball a delay, and Gaffer just rips the ball loose and creates a fast break opportunity. Luka Doncic is guarding De'Aaron Fox on the switch, and he's going to reject a ball screen from Sabonis, attack baseline, and with Gafford showing help in the paint, Fox takes a left-hand floater and misses it. This play gets put in a major disadvantage with Luka Doncic ball-watching and losing tabs at Keegan Murray. Sabonis is attacking Daniel Gafford getting downhill and he's going to get into a corner handoff and now Luca dies on that screen and it's a lot of pressure on Gafford to account for Sabonis on the roll and fouls him. 
Harrison Barnes screens for De'Aaron Fox early. Derek Jones Jr., the on-ball defender, unders the screen. And now Barnes gets the ball on the pop, immediately attacks Doncic downhill, and gets deep on the drive, plays off two. Doncic doesn't get a hand up, and Barnes makes a short-range pull-up. Demonis Sabotis is going to give the ball to Harrison Barnes on a handoff on the trail, and he's going to reject the screen contact, attack downhill with P.J. Washington, tracking him on the drive, and Gafford commits to helping and is able to pressure Barnes after he gets into the slow step finish attempt, forcing the miss, and then the Mavericks get the rebound. This was a negative example of picking up De'Aaron Fox full court. He's going to have Derek Jones trying to guard him, and he's going to hit a behind-the-back dribble, beat Jones, get downhill, and draw a foul with Kyrie Irving helping off the strong side corner. This was an impressive defensive possession from the Mavericks that began with Luka Doncic being hunted in a handoff action. He fights over the top, and then he fights through another rescreen. and now the Mavericks are going to switch another screen, and Kyrie Irving is going to make a great closeout, handle dribble penetration, and now Luka's going to front Sabonis in the post. A ton of shot clock has already been wasted now, and Harrison Barnes flashes to the ball and is going to try to make a move with 4.3 seconds left on the shot clock, gets stifled on the initial drive, tries to take a step back, and air balls. This play starts with De'Aaron Fox getting a slip screen from Demonis Sabonis on the right side of the floor. Kyrie Irving is going to pre-switch with Daniel Gafford. Now Irving signaling P.J. Washington to take Keon Ellis after the 45 cut, and now Irving is going to be a step behind Keegan Murray on a handoff from Sabonis. And now with drop coverage from Gafford, there's going to be space in the gap for Murray to get into a floater. This is a tough shot that the Mavericks are willing to live with, and Murray gets it to go. Fox is going to play out of a wide action rescreen. Gafford's in drop coverage. Fox pulls up and shoots and misses the jumper. The Kings are going to run a wide action for De'Aaron Fox with Sabona screening, and then he's going to snake into the gap with Derek Lively in drop coverage. And Lively does a great job of not jumping. Fox is going to play off two with a shot fake, try to get Lively to leave his feet to jump into him to draw a foul, but Lively avoids contact, keeps a hand up, and Fox has to get a tough floater up and ends up missing. The Kings are going to run a series of handoffs for Malik Monk. He's going to get it to Sabonis, get it back. And then now he's attacking downhill with Kyrie Irving out of the picture. Derek Lively gets vertical deep in the paint to pressure the finish attempt. And the ball ends up scraping by the front of the rim and almost was a miss, but ends up hopping up and going in. The Kings are going to try to play out of an inverted ball screen for Demona Sabonis to get momentum attacking downhill against Derek Lively. Sabonis attacks downhill, gets into a quick post up passes it to get it back and then now he's going to try to play out of a drop step lively crowds the finish and is able to force a miss at the rim the mass have a defensive breakdown with pj washington falling to the floor after keegan murray uses a v cut with fox setting a flare screen now nobody's accounting for murray on a handoff from sabonis lively recognizes this steps up contests the three and the shots offline Sabonis is going to get the ball to Chris Duarte in a handoff out of the corner. Luka Doncic, who was the on-ball defender, dies on the screen, so Duarte makes a pocket pass. And Lively does a great job of neutralizing this advantage by taking the chest contact and having a hand ready to pressure. And Sabonis doesn't even look at the rim, passes it out, and then now Luka is going to look to recover and run Malik Monk off the line and then try to recover as he reloads on the sidestep and the shot's a miss. Malik Monk is going to get the ball out of a handoff and then reject a screen from Demonis Sabonis with a behind-the-back dribble. And Derek Lively perfectly engages him deep on the drive, absorbs contact with his chest, gets vertical, and then Monk just loses the ball on a bad pass. The Kings are going to play out of a double-drag screening action, and then this is going to ultimately become what looks like a zoom action for Malik Monk, and he's going to be top-locked by Kyrie Irving and then cut baseline as a counter and receive a lob pass and finishes the dunk. Demonis Sabonis is going to challenge Derek Lively early in his possession. He's going to get the ball on the trail and just immediately try to attack him downhill. And he's going to try to play through contact, lowering his shoulder through Lively's chest. Lively doesn't fall for the shot fake. Sabonis pivots and sees Chris Duarte back cutting. Maxi Kleba loses track of him, so Sabonis is going to try to make the drop off pass, but actually hits Duarte in the face with the ball, and it results in a turnover. Malik Monk rejects a high ball screen early in this play, makes the pocket pass to Sabonis, but Derek Lively does a great job of guarding two with one, with Luka Doncic also showing some help as the early low defender, and Sabonis puts up a tough finish attempt and misses. The Kings tried challenging Derek Lively numerous times, and here they get him involved in the action with an early high ball screen. He's going to guard Duarte out in space, track him on the right side of the rim, and pin the finish on the glass for the block. Regardless of score, the Mavericks need to make a 
a more aggressive effort getting out to shooters when a spray out pass is made. Malik Monk attacks in transition, draws help from Derek Lively before making a drop off pass to Alex Lynn on the trail who then sprays it out to Keegan Murray and nobody makes an effort to get out on him in the corner. It's a miss short on the front of the rim but still that's a wide open attempt for a high efficiency shooter. This is another example of the Mavericks continuing to need to make better extra efforts. Malik Monk gets by. Malik Monk breaks down Maxi Kleba using a right to left crossover, goes between the legs as Kleba tries to shift his hips. And now on the drive right, Monk is going to draw help, get into a live dribble pass, spray it back out to the three point line. And this is up to Irving to make a run out to contest a shot, and he just stands and watches the ball go up. With Kleba playing the four, the Mavericks are going to switch this ball screen, trust him to guard Malik Monk at space. Monk gets a step on him using the right to left crossover, but Lively helps off the dunker and is able to pressure the floater attempt and force a miss. Dante Exum's guarding De'Aaron Fox on this transition push. Alex Lynn is going to come over to set a ball screen, but Fox rejects with a spin move, attacking baseline. Gafford does a great job of showing help, and this is going to deter Fox from attacking the rim. He gets into the top of the paint with the crossover, passes out. But on the reset, the ball is going to find Alex Lynn, who's going to get into a handoff with Fox. With Exum trailing after trying to get through the screen contact, Fox is going to snake into the gap, play it of a hostage dribble, and try to create an advantage with a shot fake, and then get into a finish attempt, but Gafford didn't bite on the fake, stays vertical, and Fox has to settle for a tough finger roll and misses the finish attempt. With Tim Hardaway Jr. at the three, the Mavericks are playing a smaller perimeter against the Kings. Keegan Murray's going to use his size, playing out of a quick post-up, get into a turnaround, and knocks down the shot. The Mavericks continue to effectively contain De'Aaron Fox's early pushes. P.J. Washington is physical on the drive. Daniel Gafford shows help, so Fox is going to retreat out of this, pass it out, and then space out to the three-point line. F Sabonis is going to come to the middle of the floor, flash, and then they're going to get into a zoom action where Fox is setting an off-ball screen for Keon Ellis, and then Gafford's in drop coverage, so Ellis has the short-range pull-up. Kyrie attempts to rear-view contest, but Ellis gets the shot to fall. With De'Aaron Fox in the corner, Demonis Sabonis is going to try to get into a handoff, but P.J. Washington is top-locking him, so instead he's going to toss it to Fox, and then they're going to get into a side ball screen, and Fox is going to give it right back to Sabonis on the roll, but the Mavericks do a great job of crowding the paint and making a play on the ball to force a turnover. Malik Monk's going to get the ball to Demonis Sabonis to play out of a zoom action. Monk's going to slip the pin-down screen. Keegan Murray is going to try to use contact to create separation from Tim Hardaway Jr. Jr. is now going to have to try to under the handoff. Murray's going to counter that by getting into a quick one dribble pull up and just misses the shot. The Mavericks had an intriguing sequence where P.J. Washington, instead of staying attached to De'Aaron Fox on a cut through, he makes his presence felt in help after Daniel Gafford tries to jump this pocket pass. Sabonis gets behind him, but Washington's there, gets vertical. It was the right idea, but Sabonis ends up drawing the foul on the finish attempt. The Kings are going to have De'Aaron Fox on the right side of the floor flow into a ball screen to attack the middle, and the Mavericks are going to switch this. Gafford's going to step up, contest the pull-up three, with Fox having space after using that screen, and Fox just misses the shot. Thank you for checking this video out. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, and any like and share would be greatly appreciated, and check back for more content like this in the future.